For legal reasons, I do not share the same. You don't want to put something that looks like runny shit all over your skin. If your shits look like... Anyway, she's kind of a bitch. Welcome to Two Lads on Deck Chairs. I'm your host, Barbara, and I'm joined with Low Power, and I am the host because I won the host of in, in In unbelievably large fashion, I got slaughtered. I just, it made sense. I just don't know how to edit shorts, apparently. So uh, this week, we're going to be editing, in, or I will be editing mine a lot better. Yes, um, so if you're new and seeing this for the first time, the host is decided by who can get the most views on a clip at the, which you get to see at the end of the show. Mm-hmm. So, shall we tally up? We uploaded on all three platforms of TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. Yes. So, do you all want to list off your uh, account? Well, on YouTube, I got a wonderful three views. Nice. And on, on TikTok, YouTube, I got 230. And on Instagram, I got 185, totaling 418 views. So, on YouTube, <laughs> compared to Pat's three, I got 762. That already beats his total, but yep. we'll keep going anyway. <laughs> I got 780 on TikTok, and on Instagram, Low Power actually won. Yeah. And I only got a measly. 162. Yeah, so on Instagram, I beat him by 23 views, but I got beaten by upwards of 500 to 700 views on the other platforms. So, you know, apparently almost losing your fingers makes for a good clip. So uh, I guess I'll just have to keep that in mind. More it injuries. Beats, it beats Viagra every time. Yeah, but more, yeah, beats Viagra. Yeah, so not, not, allowed, not allowed to do that. That's a naughty word. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah. anyway, as host, how have you been? Mate, I've right. been pretty good. Um, hanging about, still training, still playing sport, still doing everything, the oh. usual shindigs, um, but excited to be back in. And, um, you know, we're, we're very, we're very thematic today. So we, I'm, I look like Greg the Wiggle, I admit, but it's because, um, yeah, we've got, you know, we've things, got, things to talk about, yes. things to talk about today. So in so. this episode, we'll be discussing marvel as the red and mustard yes. as we are tomato and mustard red and yellow we'll be discussing if, are they falling off and we've got a review of the canberra cafe which That's we just right. ate out we so just ate, local just review out. yeah and then we have a debate at the end which i'll reveal yes. at that point at that time all right so um shall we go to the news let's get into the news In other news, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out. Yes. Soon. Do we know what day that is? Do that we know what is release date is? July 26th. All right. Well, we'll chuck that up on the screen if that's wrong, even though we always forget to do that yeah, post, so post editing stuff anyway. As but average Aussies, <laughs> yeah, average we get Aussies. things wrong here. Yes, but what I want to discuss is yes. Marvel's taken a turn for the worse after for Endgame a while. for yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I think after introducing shows, the quality has gone down a little, would you say? I would, I would only, I only say that because it's like after I, I watched everything that Marvel released up and up until and including Endgame and even a couple of things afterwards. Mm. Um, but for the past little while, I just can't be bothered, you know, like they, it's one of those, it's fallen off. It doesn't seem, they don't seem great. They don't, they don't make me want to watch them, you know, yeah. I think, but that is, to be fair, that is the hard part about concluding an epic storyline like Endgame, and continuing it, and then continuing on to something else. That is hard. That is difficult. Um, but I think it's almost like they tried to do too much. Almost. Yes, I agree. They tried to do. They did a good thing with trying to experiment. Yeah, like it did get formulaic at the time because we're like the prime demo for Marvel, right? Yeah, we were twelve when the Avengers were coming out, and yeah. Stuff like that. We were like the prime age for it all. Right, right in, right into superheroes. So and, when the formula kind of started getting stale and they finished the epic star saga, I do agree they yeah. didn't needed to change things a little. It's just they try to do too much too quick. I would have been yeah. okay if they like rested for a year or something. 
Well, if they're their own business, they can't. I know, know but, but like know. gave it. Well, they made so much with it, and yeah. now they're losing money on it. Every on other every thing. everything that they make now. Yeah. So it probably would have been a bit of business business plan to like True. give it a rest for a year. Yeah, I, I but, mean that's fair. That's fair. But even then, but onto onto what we were hoping yeah. to talk about. So Deadpool and Wolverine. How, How much do you know? Hmm? How much do you know about the movie coming in? Ah, uh, they're pretty much kept it hush hush. A new thing they're doing with trailers these days is only showing the first thirty minutes of the film, because at the at the moment people have seen they did like a preview, but instead of showing the whole movie, they only showed the first thirty minutes. Wow. So they're really trying to keep it hush hush for the time being. That's cool. But I think what. The benefit of this is it kind of is a restart for Marvel's yeah. stuff. Okay. Like, I can see it because it's not their own property and it's new things and it's already popular characters. Yeah. So it's going to do yeah, well. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be, it's going to be most interesting after this, I yeah. think. This will be their most popular projects in for a couple of years. Yeah, I think it's like, it's it's a popular characters, but... More importantly, it's popular actors, I think, as well. Yeah. I think that's that's a big part that falls And it's a comeback actor again like they did with spider-man no way home with yeah. hugh jackman coming back as wolverine giving him the classic outfit that everyone's wanted yeah so it's really a pleasing everyone i reckon it's going to do really it's a bit of fan service yeah kind of thing. but in the do... good kind not the anime kind we don't like fan and anime yeah. fan service because anime fans can be really but marvel fans can be worse but they've been harsh on their own projects at the yeah moment. exactly you know so that's true yeah but anyway, that's I, point being is that I'm I'm excited. Mm. I think I'm I'm keen to watch this. I will level with you really quick for a guy that's wearing all yellow as if I am a massive Wolverine fan. Um, I actually haven't watched <gasps> many, if any, of the X Men's. I can't remember if I've watched. I think I have watched one or two. Well, we were um, quite young when they did come out, so yeah. it doesn't but surprise me. At the me. same time, though, I do know I know all the characters. Like I, that's good. Um, or at least I recognize all the characters. Maybe not by name, but I know what powers they have, but I know what they can do. Have you um, watched the other Deadpools? Uh, I have watched the Deadpools, but I haven't, because he was he was mostly, like, I haven't played the Deadpool game, though. I haven't no, yeah. played any of those. They, they don't tie um, in. It's just yeah. the movies. That's just the movies? Yeah, yeah. okay, cool. Well, I've, oh, are we talking Ryan Reynolds movies? Because yeah. there aren't any others, right? Yeah, there's In that no case, others. I've seen all of them. <laughs> um, I thought those are good. He did the ver- he did the he um, the Ferris Bueller post credit scene oh, like that after that. Uh, which which I was a big fan of. Um, Ferris Bueller, great film as well. So I haven't seen that. Also watch something. That's it. You have? I haven't. You haven't seen Ferris Bueller? I oh, know. Wow, we have That's a friend true. that would be very disappointed in him. And his name is Tom. <laughs> oh. I'm hoping to get him on the podcast. Tom, if you're yes. watching this, get, get your you. ass on the podcast. Come on, man. First guest. We've been trying to save it for you the whole damn time. But anyway. So it will be very interesting to watch what happens after this. Their project they've announced is Fantastic Four. Oh, Blade true. and a couple actual fan pleasers, but the thing is, they've yeah. kind of ditched their Kang storyline, which is interesting. The Kang, that remember the villain from Ant Man and the Wasp? Haven't watched it. There you go. My point being, I haven't, I haven't watched it. They yeah. were trying to do the Infinity War thing again, but they abandoned it. Yeah, so. right. Because they can't. It's like it, they're trying to do. I what think they just Star Wars did. You yeah. know. It's just another Death Star. Yeah. Death Star 2. Oh, what's, what do we need to bring people back? A Death and also, Star 3. I, I think the issue has been they've run out of A-listed characters. Like when Iron Man and yeah. Captain America died, Thor kind of couldn't really handle it on his own. Yeah. And then Guardians, James was finishing that up anyway. Yeah. So I think the last good films, in my humble opinion, is Guardians and Spider-Man No Way From Home. Yeah. Well, Spider-Man's, you know, Spider-Man... And Wakanda Forever that was, was all right. Yeah. Well, ooh, oh, yeah, that's right, where they had the, um, you know, remembering... Yeah. Just, you know, just remembering just, Chadwick It was Rose a very movie. downer film. <laughs> yeah. But it needed to be, but yeah. True. But yeah, it'll be very interesting to see what comes out of that. Yes. All right. Now for the review. Yes. Reviewing things. Do we have an intro for that? Yeah, it's the... Nah, nah, nah. Alright, so me and Al have driven past this cafe thousands of times. There are there are a few locations in Canberra, but there is one particular location that is about two minutes that way, which every time I pick him up to bring him here, 
we pass mm. it. Yeah, and we're always interested in eating there. Exactly. But the thing is, it seems like a bad location, but a good location. Yeah, it's it's like, because every time we pass it, we go, oh, we should eat there. And then we don't. Like, and there's then... a car parking. Like, I don't know what's wrong about it. The car park is next to it. But yeah. It's also not close enough. Yeah, because you still have to cross the road. Because yeah. the, the, there's a pedestrian crossing, which is a little bit too far down the road. So it is slightly out of the way. But it's literally like, I was driving through and I said to said to um, the Babadoo that I was like, look, let's just go, um, let's just go to Zambies. And then as we're driving along, you're like, why don't we just go here? We're like, oh, you know, screw it. Yeah, fine. And then we just pulled, yeah. pulled in. See, Canberra quickly. has an issue, like, unlike Melbourne, Melbourne's famous for its cafes, mm. but we're not really famous for much. Well, we, we, Everyone calls it boring. Well, everyone does call it boring, but I think that it is known that Canberra's coffee is actually quite good. I think everyone knows Australian coffees in general are quite it's true. That is true Co- compared to other everywhere nations, else. Yes. But like we are essentially a mini Melbourne, I feel at times. Yeah, we're just slowly expanding. Yeah, but I like the layout of Canberra a lot better. But anyway, Canberra Cafe, pretty good stuff. Yeah. From so when burgers. so the one we walked in, which is in the Belconnen, the Canberra Cafe in Belconnen, um, it was small decent burger choice i'd have to would have to eat more we both had i think the double beef yeah bacon thing. Du- yeah beef be- double beef and bacon burger type thing which yeah. was really nice i just love american cheese quite, it was quite fresh too didn't mm. taste processed yeah it did, it did it did taste and the chips were nice uh nicely chicken salt um they like a porto well. chips i'll describe yeah. them oh, thick and i feel salty. like don't a porto chips have a bit more like flavoring or a bit more spices uh, and stuff on them i don't know they're usually just chicken salt I just clearly it. don't eat at a porto enough, to be honest. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, normal, regular, oh, fast we've food We've got chips. our feet in the same way. I have to do my That's feet right. in a different way. Oh, whatever. Comfort. <laughs> comfort. <laughs> I always do that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why. No, it's because it's comfort. Yeah. I mean, it's comfortable. I can do the other way. Comfort. <laughs> there you go. But anyway, would recommend going there. Yeah. And how would you improve? How cap- would I improve the experience? I would say... It's not that we were at, obviously, it's just a weird location. Like, it's weirdly small. You wouldn't go there if you weren't a local, I think. Yeah, that's true, actually. I, I think that's, it, it gives, it has the vibe of a local cafe, but it's just far enough out of the way that it, I, I wouldn't, you know? Mm. Yeah. So, location-wise, it's not, it's not super like, good. Like, if you but... don't go to the city, there's not many places outside of the city you would go that's unique to Canberra. Yeah. Like, there are a few Canberra cafes. Like if I, I yeah, no. Point being, I think that the Canberra cafe is a very nice, very nice area. Um, would go would recommend again. it to anyone coming to Canberra. It is, it is lovely. Um, they've got ice cream as well. It's like four ninety, I think, for a scoop, and the ice cream actually looked quite nice as well. But, yeah, that was unique of it. I yeah. like that. The yeah, little ice cream, cream bar thing. I've been going to Messina more often recently. recently. Like, don't, don't know why. why. I was just people be like, oh, Pat, do you want to get ice cream? I'm like, oh. sure. Go, go in, grab a, grab a scoop of something, eat it, have a yap, yeah. yeah. and then, then go home. Where would you go best ice cream in Ooh, my belly's coming Canberra? From. Best, best ice cream in Canberra? Canberra? I love good berries. Good berries? Get, Get the concrete. big thing Get of concrete. concrete. Yeah. What's the ice cream place in the city, that massive one that's green? Is that not Messina? Oh, yeah, that in is. Braddon, the yeah. One in yeah. 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 Messina. Is yeah, Messina. Yeah, it's, it's in Braddon. It's like a boutique. But it's decently cheap. Like, it is decently cheap. Well, well I mean, for a scoop of ice cream, it's like eight bucks. So. Yeah. And it's good quality. There's a lot of variety. <coughs> I personally like the markets one. Which one? In the Belconnen markets. There's a little ice cream shop. It only has like 12 flavors, but they're good. They're, they're smooth good. and good quality. Okay. I might have to check it more. I have to check it out soon then. You know? Yeah. Anyway. Tricky ice cream review. That's local reviews. <laughs> yeah, local, local, local review uh, for, for anyone who happens to be in the area or if you are in Canberra, then would be would be a good thing to watch. But All right, now it's time for the debate. Yes, the debate. Right, the debate is tomato versus barbecue sauce. Da, da, da. So Pat should be wearing brown. I should be wearing brown, but, you know, it's fine. So I'm gonna turn and face you as I as we as we discuss this. Alright. So um, I think opening statements, mm-hmm. counterpoint, and then final counterpoint, counterpoint and then a final rebuttal? rebuttal? Yeah. Okay, cool. Nice. nice. Hit me. Who wants to go first? Please open. Oh so, oh I see. Scissors, paper, rock. Alright, Connor's going first. Your All first right. opening statement. Tomato sauce. Icon. Everyone loves it. 
There's no nothing you can't have without tomato sauce. Just every time you go to Bunnings, the sausage you must have tomato sauce with onion. Anything else you can just have at the table at the time. Barbecue sauce, it's just unique to only a few meats and it doesn't taste that nice, I'm afraid to say. Mm. Your turn. My turn. So do I start with, I think I have to start with a rebuttal technically. So then I rebut you, then you get, get to rebut mine. And yeah, clean and then, statement. So to rebut yours initially, um, tomato sauce does not go with everything. You said, and I quote, tomato sauce goes with everything. It does not go with everything. <laughs> And you also said everyone loves tomato sauce. Also a complete and utter falsehood. All sauces exist for the benefit of the masses. And going into why barbecue sauce is the superior sauce, barbecue sauce is built for barbecues. That's why it's called barbecue sauce. If you're having a sausage and uh, if you're having sausage and onion at a Bunnings at a Bunnings snag, you're putting barbecue sauce on that thing, not tomato sauce. You're putting barbecue sauce. Why? Because it's from the barbecue. Barbecue sauce from the barbecue. What? Okay, I understand. There, there are times where a tomato sauce, yeah, a bit, bit more iconic. I agree. They've done well. They've done marketing. But marketing does not mean it is right. You know, marketing does not mean that it's better. Marketing does not mean that it is the the be all and end all of all sauces. You know, there are plenty of sauces that are better than tomato sauce. I would argue mustard is a better sauce than tomato sauce. Um, but that's uh, just because I'm wearing yellow. Um, but I think the point is, is that barbecue sauce, tomato sauce is a bit too, um, it tries to do too many things at once. It tries to be, it tries to beat the sauce for too many flavoring items. It is not, it doesn't do its job well enough. I think barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce hits a niche, correct? But it hits the niche perfectly. People who love barbecue sauce love barbecue sauce. You will never hear someone saying, oh, barbecue sauce is all right. You will always hear them saying, oh, mate, I love barbecue sauce. Tomato sauce, you've got heaps of people going, mm, that's all right. And, uh, you know, I just put it on because it's a little bit extra, you know? So, and I, I'd like to close my statement. Counterpoint. Yeah. Objection. Objection. If barbecue sauce is so good, why are there seven different versions of it? When you go to the supermarket, there's only one tomato tell me sauce. Objection! <laughs> there, that, is, that is a falsehood again. That is a third lie that you have said during this debate. Only one famous one. And when I said everyone loves it, every Aussie loves it. And if you don't, you're just not Australian. He's claiming I'm not Australian. <laughs> oh dear. And plus, That's right, I'm Scottish. And my, I would say, mm -hmm. aesthetically pleasing is the tomato sauce. You don't want to put something that looks like runny shit all over your snack. If your shits look like barbecue sauce, go to a doctor. That's all I'm going to say. Simultaneously, if your shits look like tomato sauce, also go to a doctor. To be fair, if your shits look like any sauce other than Worcestershire, go to, go to a doctor. <laughs> but yes, my counterpoint of there's several million different types of barbecue sauce. There's like smoky barbecue. There's there are several million types of tomato sauce. I doubt, beg to differ. Dude. <laughs> well, okay. When you say different types, let's clarify this. Mm. I do want to understand Main your argument. Mainstream. When you, so what do you mean a mainstream? Yeah. So when you go to the Woolies. Okay. And they have the so sauce. Are you saying like fountain? Are you saying like a brand, main, a mainstream brand? Yeah. Or are you just saying like salt reduced? Uh, mainstream brand of there, tomato sauce. Well, there is a mainstream brand of barbecue sauce. Yes, but there's... It's the same brand that makes tomato other, sauce. There's other brands, like more mainstream brands of barbecue sauce, and there's no other mainstream tomato sauce. He also says tomato, not tomato. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I don't know where it comes from. I'm, I'm giving it... He's been saying it all day, and I've never understood it. <laughs> um, okay. I, no, I don't think I get to rebut. I think we just have to do closing statements. So right. please, you're, no, your rebuttal can be. Well, I mean, I've, to be fair, I've been rebutting your entire argument. Yeah, so, so please, closing statements. Are... No, no, I insist you start with your closing. You have to. You no, started. I'm going back you and started. forth. So. Uh. In my closing statement, sound off in the comments below who, what you are, a Tommy sauce, tomato sauce person. Yeah. Or a barbecue sauce person. Yep. But. In my final statements, I just think you're unpatriotic and you don't have a soul if you don't like tomato sauce. It's calling me a ginger. Um, in, in my closing statements, I think the barbecue sauce hits. It, it has one job and it does that job perfectly, which is why I think that it is the superior sauce. 
The source that tries to do eight jobs and doesn't achieve any of them is not as good as the source that has one job and does it well. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you. All Stand right. off in the comments below whether you agree or disagree with Tomato Sauce and also who had the better argument. I would say, I would concede and say Low Power had the better argument. <laughs> I, was, I need to be more prepared for the, for the debate. I was most, mostly going off emotions. <laughs> And plus, oh, so oh, you'll oh. get cancer if you take barbecue sauce. Yeah, apparently I've got... Yeah. Right. And yeah, now, it is time for the host off. Yeah, host, host off time, baby. So, um... As- Fight! As you won, I would concede and say you won the oh. debate. I'll yeah. allow you to host off first. You'll have me to host off first. Oh, God. No, I hadn't actually thought of anything in particular. Um, but that debate was fun. Yes. So let me ask you, Barbado, what kind of phone do you have? Wait, should you say start when you're starting the clip or? So I can be prepared. <laughs> so you should be prepared. Yeah, okay. So wait, say when you want to start the clip. Oh, okay. Well, we'll start the clip now, I guess. Okay. All right. So, Barbado. What kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone, sir. What type of iPhone? An iPhone 12. Okay. I have an Android. So, here comes the battle. The battle for all ages. iPhone or Android. Let's go. Scissors, paper, rock. Same same setup as before. Scissors, paper, rock. Oh, fuck. All right. So, I get to, I get to, I get to lead the charge. So, Android is sup- overtly superior to all things Apple. I think Apple, as a company, is just terrible. They are, currently the iPhone 10 is, is, um, has been set into, uh, what was it? I, the iPhone 10 has been made redundant or, you know, it's been marketed 50. as, sorry? iPhone 15. iPhone 50? 15. What? 15. Yeah. What, what? Really? Because, are you talking about the one that cracked at the back? No, I'm oh, just um, I'm talking about the Apple company have now said that the iPhone 10, like anything from iPhone 10 and below, iPhone 10 they started at one, you know, is now redundant, you uh, know? and they don't support I, Apple. Apple do not support their old products. They they withdraw support for them. Androids, Nokia's, Google Pixels. This thing served me face faithfully for ages, and it's like the first iteration of a Google Pixel. They do not, but they do not break. They do not stop working. They, the battery keeps going. That thing, if I need to drive to Sydney and back over two days, if I chuck it in battery saver mode, it lasts me the whole damn time. You know, the camera quality is better. I take photos all the time. In fact, I was out out recently and I took a photo of a friend who was working behind the bar, gave them to him. He now uses that photo as a Tinder profile picture. So I think that the camera quality for portrait mode, for pixels and for, for lots of Androids in particular are much better than iPhone. I think that... Apple relies too much on its elitist, uh, elitist mentality and the uh, the idea that you have to constantly spend more and more money to get what should be just be that should just be given to a phone to begin with. You know, charging cords, earphones, chargers, all those sorts of things. Anyway, I'd like to rest my initial case. That's something what poor people would say. <laughs> But Ooh. as the leaders, <laughs> Apple, it just seems you have a lot of range, rage against me for just, you know, being in a higher tax bracket than you as yeah. us elitist iPhone people. Have. I feel like we should swap colors. <laughs> I should be wearing red right now. <laughs> as yeah. the communist. Yeah, I'm the... This <laughs> Android is, are you arguing Android is communist? <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Me, the capitalist establishment of Apple that increases their prices every time for little change and takes away things you used to get. Yep. It's just better. It's just better. It's <laughs> it just works. better. It's just better. Listen, the design of Apple mm-hmm. is so smooth, so sleek, you know, it just feels right. Everything, the, you can't complain about the aesthetic of an apple it's very unique to it no one can really replicate it and yes you're android but i can't even tell that's an android most of the time it just looks like not apple so poor (laughs) 
rebuttal. <laughs> the sentence, the sentence you said. This just is saying. a clip. Yes, this is a clip. You don't this have rebuttals. <laughs> <laughs> this is just. <laughs> well, shout off in the comments below who you think won the Apple versus iPhone debate. Thank you so much. Uh, low power out. Watch two lads on deck chairs. All right. So now you can edit that. <laughs> I'm gonna edit, five minutes. Edit that five minutes to one into, minute into something. I think I'm just gonna use the communist bit to be honest. <laughs> <coughs> All right. yeah, I'll just say like Android is communist. Yeah, um, Android is communist. By the people, for the people. Um, all right, what's my clip gonna be? Fuck. Yeah. They was gonna think. Oh, my chest oh. hurts. Oh, oh. No. All right, I've got my clip. You got your clip. You uh, ready? I'm ready. I'll say start. Oh, let me get ready. <laughs> all right, ready. Now I know that this clip's gonna go to more people, so I have to be have to look good for it. Yeah. There we go. I'm ready. Did you know? I did not. Low power. That I've met the queen. What? <laughs> yes. In 2011, when she came to Australia, I was there, waving the flag. How old were you? Eleven. Well, yes, ten. Well, yeah, oh, okay. My dad. Yeah. The buses. Fucking, um, oh on. my god, the buses there were just elite. Massage yeah. chairs and everything. It was just awesome. What on earth are you talking about? The, the bus, bus on the way to her arrival yeah. was like a massage. It was sick. There, there, there were, were massage seats, seats on the bus? Yes. Huh? Yeah, it was sick. They were so comfy. Were you they on were... drugs? No, I was not on drugs. I have a photo. You have a photo? Yeah. Okay. And this was during Julia Gillard or Tony Abbott on the two. I think it was Julia Gillard's reign, but I might be wrong. Anyway. I, we don't care. We're average Australians. I think it, no, it might have been. I think it was Tony Abbott. So Tony Abbott was in power right. at the time. Anyway, they're both there. So I met those two people too. Yeah. I didn't handshake or anything. She walked like as close you are to me. Yeah. Like just imagine there's a rail there. Okay. She just walked past, waved everyone, you know. It's pretty sick. Anyway, she's kind of a bitch. And. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> She's dead, Connor. You can't say that. You can't say that. My face is going to be on this. For legal reasons, I do not share the same opinions the Bubba no does. Leave yeah. <laughs> that out. Yeah. Oh, man. The Queen's a peep. You know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. dear. Well, thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you like our new decor. Yeah. We do. Other things you can talk about in the comments is how to design it. And I'll see you mates in the next one. Bye guys. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.